2016 NCHA Great American Insurance Summer Spectacular. I'm with the winner of the Unlimited Amateur Derby, and that's Doug Pritchett, who rode Dual Glen Ray and marked a 219 and a half. Congratulations to you, Doug. Thank you. What does this win mean to you in the Will Rogers? Uh, it's very difficult to even make the final, so it's an honour to um, even win it, especially win the senior too. Well, and to have such a good run, you had a few trainers, we were talking earlier, and a few trainers came up and congratulated you on such a great run. How did that feel? That's really good too. And they were asking me what I thought the score would be, but uh, of course I figured it. I'm not even going to say. It was a good run. <laughs> Can you remember any of it? How did it feel like? To describe it to us. Yeah, of course, um, Brad Mitchell and Bo Gay and both were watching the cattle real close, and they were telling me which cows to pick, and it um, worked out really great. With first, second, and third, all three of them were easy for me to drive up, set up on, and the horse did the rest. Okay. So you've been cutting, we were talking earlier, I think you said since 78, is that correct? Well, it's a good 35 years plus. So you've been very patient, now you can uh, enjoy it all. Oh yeah, yeah. So tell us about your horse, Jewel Glen Ray. Well, originally we bought him here in Fort Worth at the sale. Uh, Ty Brown and George Chapel had actually bought him for me. They both were working with me at the time. Uh, Ty Brown done most of the training on him, and, and we kept him through the years and uh, years, you know, like last couple of years. And Brad Mitchell, I'd asked him to show him in the open for me. And uh, so Brad's been keeping the horse and getting him really ready for me, and everything was prepared just um, perfect. What do you like about this horse? What do I like about him? He's um, he's strong. He's got good expression. He really stops on his hind end like he's supposed to, and uh, he can swing around and cover a cow really fast. Now, year of business owner is cutting, a, um, you know, a, a release from running a business, or is it um, a business in itself for you? Well, once again, we. Where, uh, we grew up with horses, of course, and cutting, which <clears throat> I tried roping, I tried, well, I done rodeoing and <clears throat> bareback riding, bull riding, all that back in high school and college, but <clears throat> cutting came up and uh, the drilling really um, uh, gives you that feeling, just like flying an airplane upside down. Well, this um, is always has that feeling all the time. You just really fell in love with it. Oh yeah, yeah. That, um, luckily, trainers can train them good. I'm a non pro. I can go out and um, enjoy what they do. So, Doug, you didn't just win the final tonight. You actually had two horses make it to the final. Tell us about your other horse and how it went tonight. Yes, um, Bo Gallion actually had this horse and was doing pretty well on him, and. Uh, I had a, another metallic cat, which was my favorite horse, and unfortunately he passed away, who was already entered in this, so I wanted to replace him. So we ended up replacing him with a horse, this horse called Bear. And I have his full brother, uh, Amarillo by Morning, and uh, which is also a metallic cat, and they're out of Spots Hot's mom. So we thought that was a good breeding to have. Great night for you. Oh yeah, great night.